This is the beautiful Cage Cove of the Great Smoky Mountains. Now, you that don't know nothing about the cove or the Smoky Mountains, you can look it up. Look up the Great Smoky Mountains and you can't help but find it. And it's Appalachians. Now here's Cage Cove. Here's a picture of the loop. And we'll be talking about the cable mill down here in the lower left-hand corner. And here it is. It's been down for a season or two, but it's back up and running. A beautiful old mill. A lot of history here. This is the only one left out of seven, I was told. In the cage coat, there was seven at one time. This is the only one standing and left, still running. It was built in 1867 by John P. Cable. An old place. And they keep and try to maintain it and keep it going. That's the only one left out of all of them in the code. And here's a plaque for it. It's been upgraded and restored a few times, 36 and 51, and a lot later than that a couple of times. They've changed the gears in it. Now the old guy that built it here, he passed it on to the Cables. And I reckon Becky Cables' brother Jim and his wife run it for a long time. A lot of history here. Here's a little old building that went with it. It's called the Warming House. This is where people was waiting on their corn meal to get, get the corn meal. They would stay warm in the wintertime. And right here is the old grindstone that goes in these grist mills. I reckon this is what I was told. This is what's left of the other mills that was in Cage Cove. All what's left of them, the old grindstone. They got a few laying around here on the walkway. All the other mills are gone. This is just remnants of them. And right here, too, is a Becky Cable's house. Now, this is not the original spot. It was moved here after the park took it, a quarter mile away from here, and set up here. A beautiful old picture. But this is an old picture of that when they moved it. Now, around here, back the mill, all kinds of good water comes out of these mountains here behind it. This is Mill Creek. Beautiful place. You could just sit here for hours and enjoy this water running. Such a beautiful place. Now I reckon these two creeks come together here that they run off of. Forge Creek and Mill Creek. Now Forge Creek used to have an old metal forge up there at the head of it, but that's another video. Well, they come together here. They dammed them up back in the day, and they still do today. Stuff like this, little dam here where they could control the water as much flow as they want. And you can see here, just goes over the little old dam they made here on down the creek. And the back of it here, you see them boards on the right? They could regulate how much flow of water they wanted to go down to the mill. Pulling some up gives you more, putting more down gives you less. And here's a little old creek that went towards the mill. They'd put boards up here, you can see right here on the left side of this ditch. That's to keep it from washing the bank out. But this is the principle of how they done it. Regulate their water right towards the mill. And you go down there to get to the trough, it starts running in the trough. And they can control it even more with more boards. They could slow it down or speed it up. And it goes on to the mill and runs the wheel. How much water's flowed over time through this old trough? A 
There's the old wheel. How many times is that thing turned on? And they can regulate the speed of it by the flow of the water. Faster, slower, according on the boards, how much water they want to come down and run. Well, here's how the old mill works. Here's just a little drawing of how they worked back in them days without the building around it. You got your water wheel, it's turned by water, turns a gear in there, it's usually made out of wood back in them days, and turns another gear there, pivot, that turns the grind millstone. Put it in the hopper, it comes down, grinds it up, goes out the crop there. That's basically how it works. But here at the mill here, inside, I, I was lucky enough to film it. There it is, the hopper. The one falling down in the grindstone, the millstone. Just grinds it to a pump. And I was lucky enough too to get down here and look up on it. They've changed them out years ago from metal, uh, wood gear to metal gear. And here it is, the big old water wheel turning the gear, turning the grindstone. This is how they've got their set up here. I was just thinking, I hope I don't drop my camera. And that's how she works. Wonder how much corn is ground up here. Wonder how much corn is ground up. Beautiful old meat. But they keep it going. And there's all kinds of water here to keep it going. I'd say sometimes they have flash floods and time goes by and washes everything out and they have to repair it and rebuild it. That's just that's just life. But it's such a beautiful, peaceful place here. A lot of times went by, a lot of stories that nobody will ever know about. And there ain't nothing better than a good old hot pan of cornbread and some butter. Oh man, that's good eating. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. God bless, and I'll see you next time.